welcome to China's fastest train service, the high speed rail in Beijing. No. 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 <laughs> no, they are very slow. <laughs> England, no, we don't have this. <laughs> Ma from another day here in Beijing and you guys we are at wait ah, chaos already you guys we are running very tight to our schedule we have a train at 10 58 a.m and it is about 10 30 right now I'm just waiting for Taz who's figuring out where we need to go and Niha Ma just trying to figure out where we're supposed to go because this is a big train station running late <laughs> as usual we're traveling around china for the first time so we're leaving beijing today it's going to be a high speed rail and we're looking it forward is. okay where but we go? it would not be a sunkiss bucket list travel day if there wasn't some chaos early on you know starting the day do we go do we need to check in do we just need to go i think the straight go 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 okay oh my goodness you guys there is chaos already we're trying to figure out what way we're supposed to be going we just took the metro here we arrived through line 14 and now we are here in beijing south railway station so we've got different restaurants along the side loads of different bits to eat and a big arrivals board here ours is i somewhere over here yes this one c2027 1058 gate 21 where is 2027? There it is. Okay. There we go. go. Okay. So, so this this way? No, that says exit one to four. I was gonna say there's no 21 over here. Uh any These ideas? We need huh? to uh, <laughs> We don't know where we're going and there's no one around like to ask. There's no staff around. All of the things over here in the corner by McDonald's is all automatic ticketing. So we are <laughs> very confused east parking exit i'm trying to read these signs up here not a lot of luck we are running through groups of people you guys typical us we would leave it to the last minute but we did book our tickets online we booked through trip.com so we think we're going to be taking a train it's about 150 kilometers we're going to head to tianjin that's how you say it if it's not sorry and it's supposed to take only 34 minutes what did you say crazy so i think we're gonna be going super speedy super fast but for now we need to find out where we're going 10 13 14 17 so it should be down this side somewhere wow this is a huge terminal looks more like an airport so the reason why we're super excited today is because it's a high speed rail. It's faster than the Meglev apparently. It covers 150 kilometers in 30 minutes. How ridiculously impressive is that? I want to see how smooth it is. So let's see, let's see. Where is it? Where are we going? I do see a KFC. I've seen a McDonald's. I've seen a Burger King across the coffee. If you're hungry, good place to stop. You can grab some train snacks beforehand. Wow, this place is big. Z, but I don't know where we're going. Hello, somebody help. <laughs> Honestly, this is really confusing. There's no sign to gate 21. Oh. So, down this way, straight. Honestly, I've seen about three McDonald's already. So, if you want McDonald's, come stop here. Here, here. Down there. 18 to 23. Yeah. She found it. I think I have a train number on it. I don't know. Time check though? Uh, time check. 10 38. Woo! So we literally got 20 minutes. Yay, this is us. Family Mart it is. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> well, that worked out quite nicely. <laughs> Honestly, now we can breathe a little bit. You know, we always leave things right to the last minute, you guys. I don't know when we'll learn. After two and a half years, we still haven't figured it out, but... Oh yeah, good big, big bottle of for you. Picari sweat, you guys. Water for me. This cold weather is making me feel a little ill. My throat is super sore. But Taz just picked us up um, a bottle of water 
and a Pakari sweat. So we'll see you in a minute when we're heading towards our platform. Let's go. Okay, another bag check, you guys. Another bag check. She just said to me, Oh, you can speak Chinese because I said thank you. <laughs> I can speak tiny, tiny. I tried to learn a few little words. Okay, now we are in this queue here. Trying to wait. I will go with Taz here. Here's our train up on the board. We're at gate 21. The locals normally tap their cards, their ID cards, and just walk through. We just have to try our passports. Uh oh. And she's scanning ours separately because I think it has to go through yeah. differently. Then you have okay. to go up there. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, blimey. Guys, this is a big station. Do it's not cut so, your yeah. train ticket <laughs> or your time fine. Wow. We are. Last minute, Larry's. <laughs> and it's uh oh. Quite a walk as well. It wouldn't be a Chinese train station if there wasn't like five miles of walking. That is it's so walked from one stop to another. <laughs> thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. So honestly, I don't really remember. So this is gonna go faster than the Meglev as well. This is so cool. Our carriage was way back there, but I just want to check the front of the train if I can. I see two fairly big security guys. See if that's gonna be a problem or not. But hopefully, hopefully not. I just want to check the train. Hello. Hey, this is so cool. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this looks. I love the aerodynamics on it as well, so cool! This is one of the fastest trains here in China. Goes 350 kilometers an hour, that is cool! Love it, okay. Do you know what, we've done the train check. We've got the security people behind us. We're very friendly, said nothing. Always polite enough to ask them, is it okay if I go and take a photo, is it okay? And they were looking at me like, why are you asking bro? Go ahead, do your thing. They might look big and burly. They're like just big cuddly teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, where are we? That's not us. Go, 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 get us on. So, Cabbage 3, excited to be getting on board this one. I want to do the bottle test here as well, like we did in the Megla. Yeah. You can even see, you guys, we put the bottle of water there. It hasn't moved. <laughs> I'm still going 301 kilometers an hour, and it's smooth. I want to see how smooth this is when it goes full throttle. This is us. Let's go. Oh, look at this. We've got like a little wash basin sink. Hello. Hello. One. One A and B. This is us. Okay. Let me just put you guys away for a minute. Let's settle in and I'll show you what's happening. Be right back. Train tour. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Right. Let's show you guys the leg space first. So, the leg room pretty decent not bad whatsoever we're sat right at the very front as well so we've got a telly here got our little trays got some hydration pakari sweat got to be done with all of the walking got some water these are the trays so the foldable ones come out like this go back up on there there we go sorted three two configuration three here to the right at the very front we've got a, a train hostess as well looks pretty cool overhead bag rack plenty of room there plenty normally these cases don't fit but this one no qualms whatsoever now the one thing that i need to check that's the reason specifically i got the bottle it's the bottle test that we do on high speed rail so we've got a little uh, window sill kind of place here so i'm going to place the bottle here when we're going full throttle and we'll see what it's like if the bottle stays up 
how shaky it is, if it's smooth or not. We'll find out, won't we? These trains are really nice. They feel like really modern, but I have to say they're kind of small. Like the seat, I feel like literally we're in an aeroplane. Like it's quite tight. Usually I find Yeah, this train, bit here, yeah. The yeah. wider seats. If you're in the middle, honestly guys, I'm sat like this. <laughs> because I think that like, usually in this region, the train seats have been quite wide. Like they've been really comfortable with loads of leg room, but just not, not so much here. Maybe it's all my coats and my jumpers, you know. It's all I layers. think it's winter as well, so they're trying to keep you warm. Maybe, there you go. <laughs> it's nice and warm on the train though. I'm very grateful for that. We don't want no aircon blasting right now. Nope. Thank you very much. What's the time right now, you ask? 10.58 on the dot. Wow. I love these trains' punctuality. They're never usually late. This train station looks like something out of a movie. It's more like a space station. So advanced. It looks so modern. I think we're really going to step on it once we've left the city behind and the guy is going to go full throttle out. We're doing 347. That's the top speed we've reached so far. That is mental. Look at that. And the bottle test, we've got two side by side. Okay, do you know what? Let's step it up a notch. Let's put it upside down like that and see if it stays up there. Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> Speed 344. Bottle still upside down and very smooth. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. Like, that is as smooth as they come. I think it's snowed here more than it has back in Beijing. Wow. Okay you guys, we are walking through the cabin. We have a two three kind of configuration and the back side of this train is really empty. I thought it would be much busier but I guess for a weekday train it's not. But now, ooh, it got a little bit wobbly when I tried to stand up. We got some luggage storage over here and these big drawers, these huge windows. Look at that, saying goodbye to Beijing and hello countryside before we reach Tianjin. Wow. And then through here, we have, I don't know. Ah, through here, nothing. We just have here and here. I actually was trying to find the toilets, you know. But we have somebody down here who is selling, I don't know, he looks like he's selling something. Okay, we're gonna look, enjoy the views. And actually I wanted to go and find the bathrooms to show you because when we walked in through the train, we passed two toilets and one was a toilet, one was a squat toilet. I like choices, but I don't know, has my guy moved through? No, he's still there. Okay, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way through and see if we can see any more toilets. Look, we're going 3.43. Look at that. Oh, we slowed down when I got there, but look at that. Wow. Okay, another luggage car over here, cleaning. We've got an accessible toilet over here. And then we've got a Look, I told you, squat toilet, and then we've got a nice little sink over here, power socket, tissues, soap, bin. That is uncommon to have your sink out in the main area. Haven't seen that before. And then we have a western toilet here. Let's go and check it out. I swear everybody looked at me like, girl, why are you taking the camera in the toilet? But guys. Then a little, then T 
tissue over here. <gasps> Look at this, a toilet seat cover. Not sure why that was quite exciting, but it was. Look at that, clean toilet, sink, lovely. You guys, look here as well, we also have a fire extinguisher and a little water dispenser. So you have cups in the corner here, and then you can get your hot water or I guess, uh, yeah, oh, okay, you press your red button to unlock and then the green button gets you water. So there you go, that's quite nice as well, some free water on the train. Perfect. Hope you guys enjoy the bathroom tour and just like that, snap and you're almost there. We started slowing down already. She just made an announcement to say we're coming in to yeah, did. Wow, literally fine. blink and you've missed it. It was that flipping quick. Wow. And we've covered what? Almost 150 kilometers. That's... No, can we go a bit further? I want to stay on. I want to do a time check with you guys as well. Time right now is 11.22. Wow. So in six minutes, we should be pulling in. That is insane speed, guys. We've done the bottle check. This time, we've taken the bottle check a step further, where we put it upside down. That's so cool, honestly. Like, the train has been a good experience. It's been fun. I haven't spent much of it in my seat. Like, we've been, <laughs> been quick. Honestly, I was waiting so long to try and show you the squat toilet. I thought people were gonna think I was going for a number two. Oh, crazy. <laughs> and just like that, we're in Tianjin. Keep driving, please. <laughs> just, you know, I'll do the loop with you or something with the driver. We'll just stay on. Look, that entire lake is frozen. Yeah, people are skating. Hey, this is the coolest thing ever. I didn't even realize that. Look at that car. <gasps> wow, there's like a little sports stadium down here. The field's all frozen as well. Wow, this is frozen too. Wow, the entire lake is frozen. Oh, the architecture here looks impressive. Like the ancient cultural touch. So beautiful. The train is arriving at Tian Jin. Yes. Can I follow you? Absolutely. Yeah, let me show you. We've got the subscriber here on the train with us. Yes, son. There we are. Be like our friend here. What's your name? Uh, Liu Guoxing. Where are you from? England. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you? Beijing? Uh, uh, I work in Beijing. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Be like our friend here. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that like, hit that subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> We're loving it, yeah. China is amazing. The train, so good. We've uh, absolutely enjoyed it. England uh, uh, don't have this. No. No. no, no, they are very slow. <laughs> oh. England, no, we don't have this. <laughs> England trains are very slow. Yeah, uh, and they are. they're never punctual either. No, they're, they're usually late. Mm -hmm. So, Chinese trains, <laughs> amazing. I think this is us, this is our station. Tianjin. Uh, this is Tianjin. Yes, yeah? yes. Okay. This, this is, is where we us. come off. That was an enjoyable train ride so whilst it lasted. <laughs> And we are, oh yeah, you can tell you're pulling into the city now because the buildings are only getting taller. There we are, exactly at 11.28. This was so punctual. Can I just say this to you guys, right? We pulled in probably a minute before time and my guy, the driver, he didn't let us off till 11.28. Wow. Talk about timekeeping. Absolutely insane, unbelievably incredible. That was so quick, I can't get over it. I, like literally, I wanted to stay on a little longer. <laughs> wow, but we've now arrived in Tianjin. I'm excited to see what this place is like. I think maybe different from Beijing. We've got a train leaving on our right hand side. I wonder where they're going. Maybe back to Beijing. The aerodynamics of the train are so amazing. That's the reason they're able to attain like such high speeds as well and stay on track so pretty cool pretty impressive if you ask me but there's a lot of people that have come off so i was thinking maybe tianjin weren't going to be the last stop but looks like it is because the entire train has come off yeah. yes it terminated yeah it must do impressive 
see. Oh, look how this one—it's cold out here. Yeah, please, <laughs> let's do the that because it's so nice and warm. But now that we've got chilly again, so, so yeah, it's just... time to uh, put some insulation on. <laughs> Give me a sec. Be right back. So we made it to Tianjin. This station is huge. I think the metro is here, so this is where we want to go. Is it that way? Yes. All right. Peping Lu, I think. Yeah. Okay, Pepping metro. Lu. There it is. Metro, we're coming. Make our way down. The travel network in China, I swear, is unrivaled. It is amazing wherever you go. The train network, flipping hell. Like, I am so impressed, so impressed with that. I mean, I think back home in the UK, the fastest train that we've got is probably anywhere between 120 to 150 kilometers an hour. They haven't exactly been anything to write home about. They've not been too impressive. Wow, China here. Ooh, ooh. Loving it. Okay. I'm excited to be here, you guys. Just it's very different. Check out the ease of getting tickets. So you've got yeah. five uh, dispensers here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kiosks there. You've got probably another eight after that there. That's just flipping insane. Like, the public convenience here is at the heart of everything because... You know what, probably this gets really busy the train station, so they've got so many kiosks everywhere. So people don't have to line up. Okay, what's our line? It's Wait. line four or line five? Line three, the blue one. Okay, line three it is. Hello? There we go. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, that's us. So here. This is another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. Like, have a look at that. The price for traveling two or three stops is only two yuan. That's How affordable is that? That's like 20p. Uh, yeah, really decent. Again, how much would this cost us back in uh, the UK? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Two um, um, Done. Let's grab those. Right. Da, 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 da. How flipping easy is that? Just everything is so easy in China, <laughs> like, wow. Well. One for me, please, thank you. There you go, let's go. This is huge. Wow. This is us, helping Lo. We made it. <laughs> the plane of full on animated film. How cool is that on a metro? That is crazy. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Wow. I love it though. Just walking outside of the train station. Look, we've got some yummy food. And look who we see in the distance. Mitsu. We are just discussing the directions. Which way are we going, Mr. Navigator? This way? Okay. And I think we have about a 10 minute walk to our hotel, if that. It's not very far at all. It's super close, which is really convenient. That's always something that we try to look for is near to a metro station so you can get around nice and Easy. Oh, look at this. Oh, here we are. Some nice music playing out over there. Wow, look at, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, they still have the Christmas decorations up. Oh, yeah, they've got snowmen down there. There's Lego there as well. Oh, yeah. But these lights look like they're, um, Chinese lantern -y lights. They look pretty cool. I like that a lot. Move out the way. <laughs> Someone coming through just there. Thought we were in the way for a minute. Wow, you guys. I am excited to be here. We're going to head over to our hotel now. Look at what we just walked past. China House. This looks so cool. Look at all of this. That looks amazing. I don't really know what this is, but it's like a giant house made out of actual china. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I really like that. Wow. 
I'm surprised. Look at all of this. Oh, very cool. Loads of people are stopping to take like some photos and some selfies. Look at this. Wow. What do you think? I mean, this is pretty cool. We haven't even made it to the hotel from the station yet, and there's already so much to see here. So I'm looking forward to Tianjin and what it has to offer. They're so cute. <laughs> I love it. But we should go and see some baby pandas somewhere. I want to see real pandas. That will be real so live fun. pandas. Where's the best place to see real pandas, you guys? In China, in the wild, I prefer. That's so cool. I'd love to see that. Let us know in the comments below if there's somewhere we can go. I don't really know, but cool. Okay, we just checked into our hotel and we are very happy with this. Guys, look, we have a nice, crisp, clean bed. Perfect. A desk we can work from. This Lovely. is important. Smash out a few vlogs for all of you beautiful people. So this could be my little workstation there, yeah. Very nice. We even have down here, we have a bedside plugs with USB. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I didn't even see that. It's got USB charges as well. Bedside charging points are the best thing ever. Got a bit of artwork here as well. Flat screen TV. What more could you want? Not that we're ever going to use it though, but it's nice to have it still, you know, in case if you have a nice little lay in here, chill out. <laughs> and then we have a really nice sized bathroom as well toilet, sink, and shower. £20 a night. This is not bad. You told us that if we left like the big popular touristy cities like Shanghai and Beijing and we went kind of a little further out, even though we're not really that far. Accommodation prices are very affordable, £20. That's what, 25, 26 US dollars? Something That's like that. not yeah, bad. Not bad at all. I mean, the one thing that I've just seen right now, the oh, towels yeah. <laughs> are wrapped up in plastic bags. Now, how cool is that? These are brand new. <laughs> That's it, no cutting corners here. <laughs> not bad. Towels, got a face towel in there, bark towel. Sweet, this is... Pretty cool for how much we've paid? $25, $26, 20 pound a night. That's what we know in our currency, $26 about roughly. This is pretty sweet. I like it. Yeah. Half an hour. The train was so cool. Half an hour, literally from point A to point B. Yeah. You were literally there. It already looks like Tianjin's the sort of place where there's a lot going on and we are super mm -hmm. excited to hit the ground running, go out, see what's happening. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, because there's so much more coming up from China. You don't want to miss it, all right? So wrap it up. Guys, we will see you somewhere, someplace in the next one. So subscribe.